So today's Noir November title was one from England. It is called, oh my God, my tab went away. No, here we go. Time Without Pity. It's from 1957, and it was directed by Joseph Losey. Joseph Losey obviously was an American who fled during uh, the Red Scare to England, where he made most of his um, most well-known films that he actually made in England. This was written by Ben Barsman, um, who was a blacklisted writer who also left for Europe um, from, a not, from a play by Emlyn Williams. And it has the tension and claustrophobia of a play for sure. Um, it has an interesting cast. The lead character is played by Michael Redgrave. You also have Anne Todd, Leo McKern, Peter Cushing in a small role as a lawyer, um, Alec McOwen, who was in the film I watched yesterday, um, as the uh, man who is about to be executed for a crime he probably didn't commit. Um, Joan Plowright as the victim's showgirl's sister in one of her earliest roles, as well as um, Lois Maxwell, who would later play Miss Moneypenny in 14 James Bond films. So the plot is that David Graham, a recovering alcoholic who has just been in a sanitarium in Canada, has returned to London just in time to try to save his son, Alec, played by Alec, uh, played by Alec McOwen, um, from being executed the next day. He's convinced that there's something um, uh, missing and he's going to find it. And it's it's a stretch of the imagination that um, a you know lawyer who'd been practicing law for 20 years, Peter Cushing's character, couldn't find the same information that this uh, recovering alcoholic writer found in 24 hours. But, you know, just go with it. Uh, Redgrave gives an amazing performance. He was nominated for a BAFTA. Um, Ann Todd is really good as the mother of the, the stepmother of the best friend of Redgrave's son. Leo McKern is absolutely unhinged as the, um, father of the best friend of the accused. Um, there were several moments that I thought that it was going to be hinting at, uh, um, homosexuality and then it didn't and I was like damn it because I've seen several of um, Losey's later films that tap on those subjects so I thought there was going to be more of that it makes me wonder if in the play there's some of that because um, there were some hints about the um, the best friends that I was like were they friends just friends uh, but that never showed that never came to fruition like in the plot and I was like damn um, the movie has an extremely uh, memorable ending is one of the like Losey's really really known for his memorable endings um, he knew how to end a movie on a bang and this movie definitely ends on a bang it's um, beautiful cinematography by Freddie Francis this is actually only his second film that he shot he would go on to shoot some of the great 60s films um, in England I definitely recommend this for fans of British noir um, it's it's got all of the marks that you would want from such a from that era of, of British film noir um, a lot of tension a lot of a lot of things that um, are uh, go unsaid um, that are hinted um, this is a very stifling time in England much like it was in America and um, a lot of those themes are um, themes of, of upward mobility themes of of rampant greed all kinds of things come to come to um, a head in this movie so it's it's quite good again it's directed by Joseph Losey this is Time Without Pity 1957 check it out if you're in America and you're you're watching this on Tuesday go vote I'm about to go vote um, and uh, have a good day and if you're in Atlanta come out tonight to the Plaza Theater I'm gonna be um, hosting the noir member screening of the killing it's the first of three screenings we're doing at the Plaza this year so that's exciting and this, again, was Time Without Pity. It's on Criterion Channel right now. Check it out.